Hi, this is Philip Simak, and I'm the systems designer in charge of Tabula Rasa's Creatures. Today I'm going to be giving a sneak peek at some of the creature changes players will be seeing in upcoming patches to make AI more dynamic. A good example of this is the Thrax Pistol Soldier's new Necromite Summon ability. Starting around level 25, Thrax Pistol Soldiers will begin to react to battlefield death by summoning a Necromite, a small mechanical bane unit that will cause corpses to become a potential threat. Once summoned, this independent creature will make a beeline for a nearby corpse, jump into the air, dive into the fallen combatant, and trigger an internal chain reaction. Seconds later, a massive explosion destroys the corpse, leaving behind a small smattering of material. This makes sure no one loses a valuable drop or quest item that was on the deceased before detonation. We've also spent some time making Juggernauts more dynamic and intimidating. In addition to the relatively recent addition of their shockwave attack, we are giving higher level versions of Juggernauts the power to generate a directed gravity well to pull their targets into their ideal firing range and keep them there. They will use this when their target is at long range and it's up to the player to decide how they want to handle it. Using terrain is one option, and disrupting the black hole with direct damage is another. Teams able to coordinate and engage the Juggernaut at close range will also be able to avoid dealing with the black hole, but being that close to a Juggernaut has an obvious risk factor. Lightbenders have finally received an overdue ability of a quill flash attack. As they prefer to stay at range, they can now react to close range combatants by flashing their quill. This blinds nearby targets and gives the Lightbender a chance to move back to their preferred range. Responsive players can counter this by moving into close range and then backing out of the Flash's effective blinding distance before moving back in again. And of course, medium to long range weapons will not trigger this response. Bane troops and hostile creatures are not the only ones receiving our attention. The AFS mech, for example, sports a missile rack but never seems to use it. With 1.5, this will change. They can now let loose a volley of smart missiles which slam into their target, knocking it back across the field. Taking this one step further, high-level AFS mechs can use their jump jets to gain elevation and slam down on nearby enemies. We're hoping this makes control point combat even more varied and exciting for the player. Thanks for taking a look at our upcoming creature changes. We'll have more to come very soon, enriching Tabula Rasa more with every pack.